Hi everyone, it's Kathleen. I am back after what it seems like so long since I've made a video. So much has gone on in my life since I last made a video. Uh, I think the last video that I made was back in January maybe and we are now in June. The reason why I haven't made a video in more than I think it's been like four and a half months is because I was finishing up college. And so what I was studying to be was a early childhood teacher. And if you know anything about studying to be a teacher, it's a lot of work. <laughs> like, extensive amount of hours studying to pass, you know, an exam that you need to pass in order to get licensed. You need to do student teaching your last semester, which is, it becomes your full-time job, basically. You're just not getting paid, unfortunately. Um, and so I started my internship with which was my student teaching back in I think it was the end of January beginning February and it took up all my time I was going into school 730 in the morning getting out until around 5 ish in the afternoon dead tired after planning lessons teaching lessons doing everything that a teacher does um, so it was my first experience actually being the teacher in the classroom, you know, I've worked in daycares before, I've been in classrooms before, but nothing where I was the one who was making the decisions on everything. And so this internship came with my final seminar, which I had never been in a classroom that difficult, like taking a class that difficult in my life. And it totally makes sense why. But I was in a class that was my seminar. But I was with grad students. My school didn't offer that particular seminar that I needed for undergrad because I was the only one graduating from my program. And so I had to take it with grad students, which meant we were t I was taking a class at a grad level being an undergrad. And if you've ever if anyone has ever done that, it's really hard. <laughs> you are dealing with people who are way more experienced than you are. They already have their teaching license. They're already teaching. And so I was the only one who didn't have my license and who was experienced zero and so it was very difficult but it taught me a lot so enormous amount of studying enormous amounts of writing I did my final project which I finished back in like end of April it was about 150 pages long of typing. I felt like I was writing a book. And so all of that, it just took up all my time. YouTube was definitely put on the back burner. I just, I needed to focus my time on graduating. I needed to focus my time on learning as much as I could. And nails just wasn't, it just, it wasn't my priority at the time. And so I, didn't do my nails that entire time that I was in internship. Like, honestly, I had zero polish on my nails. My nails were cracking. They were as short as I have ever had them because I just had no time. I had no energy to even put, like, a base coat on them to keep them from cracking. No time for filing. I was just like, I'm done with my nails for now. They can... You know, I can deal with them later. And so because of that, I didn't... I just didn't have time to do any videos for you guys and I missed it so much you have no idea how much I just missed wanting to do my nails like I missed that craving of thinking of a design to do and um, and now that I finally graduated I graduated on May 20th and I will include some pictures right now so graduating was one of the best feelings I've ever had you know nothing Nothing compares to graduating high school. When you graduate college, you just you just feel like you've just gone over this hurdle that just took you so long to get over all the nights that you just cry yourself to sleep because an assignment is so hard or because you just think that you won't get to pass a class, pass a test that you need. It's just, it was just the best feeling ever. And then after the graduation, we had a uh, graduation like a dinner party uh, so all of my family that could come came it was so fun just being with everyone celebrating you know what ha what I had just accomplished uh, I will be starting grad school this 
upcoming year, hopefully in the spring, because uh, I'm just, I kind of feel like I need a break for the fall, because I'm going to begin to work in the fall, and so that just brings a whole nother, like, dilemma into my life, like, just thinking, am I still going to be able to do YouTube while I'm working, which I hope that I will be, because working is, it's different than when you're doing an internship trying to graduate. You get what I mean? Like, it's it's just very different. You're working, you're getting paid, you actually see the, um, the reward for that, you know, even though it was the biggest reward just working with kids, but actually getting paid on top of that is much different. Um, so I think it'll just be a different dynamic. I'll definitely be able to do more things, you know, for me, like my nails, which is what I love to do. Uh, and so, yes, yeah, so I think things are going to get back to normal now. I hope to be putting up way more videos now, um, you know, than I have this first half of the year. I was expecting this first half, you know, of the year to be very difficult, but it just, it was on a whole other level. I really didn't think I was going to graduate because of just how much work it was and how I just didn't have confidence in myself, you know, but after going through that internship, going through that seminar with grad students, it has taught me so much about myself. And if you haven't noticed, <laughs> I cut my hair. Uh, I had my hair grow, it was probably up to my bottom, my behind. And so I cut off 17 inches. I donated 17 inches of hair, virgin hair, never dyed my hair, never put anything you know, on it. So I donated it to a place called Locks of Love. I have donated donated hair to them in the past when I graduated high school. I donated about 10 inches. It wasn't that much hair. Um, and so my goal when I started college was when I graduate college, I'm going to cut my hair, you know, to donate it. And so I didn't cut my hair the entire four years that I was in college. I mean cut, like, I trimmed the ends off, but I didn't cut length off for a whole four years. And so, after graduation, um, those pictures are my last pictures with my hair. And so, graduation was Saturday, so Monday I had an appointment to cut my hair, donated it 17 inches off. And so, this is what it looks like now. I have semi-curled it, uh, because when it's straight, it's just... I don't know, I, I feel like it's just better curled because it has like more volume to it. You know, my hair is so flat. And so when it's straightened, I feel like it's just so incredibly boring. Being that it's short, like it's not like I have like luscious hair to show off anymore. So I curl it more when I go out, uh, you know, kind of like crimp it. Um, so yeah, so it's a big change. I went back to my internship. Uh, after I had graduated, cut my hair and everything, and everyone was like, you are a different person, and I feel like a different person. I feel like I've accomplished something that I've been dreaming of since I was a little girl, you know, being a teacher. Um, now I'm so much closer to actually getting to be a teacher, which is amazing. I'm excited to start YouTube again. My nails are pretty short right now because like, they've just been kind of hanging out there, not getting any kind of love. I did go to the salon before graduation just to get a French manicure because I was like, I don't feel like doing my nails right now. So I went to the salon. It was great to actually be in a salon because, you know, I don't do that ever because I just do my own nails. Um, but it was a great experience. It was nice to get pampered after all the hard work that I've been through. So anyways, I will catch you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for keeping up with my other videos, I always see your notifications, and I just feel so bad that I haven't been able to put anything up, but that will definitely change now that I'm home and relaxed with college out of the way, at least undergrad out of the way. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys!